Sorry, uh oh. Syracuse. Hercules. New York. <laughs> Something like that. What are we doing today, Steve? Oh, I don't know. I can't. I can't remember. It's in the title, so <laughs> if you don't remember, the people watching even know where. Where am I? <laughs> yeah, we're doing um, cherries. So oh, the cherries. the title is Steve teaching Cooper, but it looks like Cooper's already got a feel. Yeah, he's got Cooper, <laughs> Cooper, how are you doing over here? I'm doing great. So I was telling Cooper that um, after we do, after he gets done with one more tray, um, he is going to do the second covering, so yeah. you guys can see all, all the Full steps. Full set for the process. Yeah. It's a multi-step process. Hi everyone, welcome everybody. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for watching. Thank you for joining. All right, Steve? Yeah, that's great. So what do we got going on in here? This is cherries with powdered sugar. And so the cherry juice mixes with the powdered sugar. Kind of crazy, as you can see. Huh. It makes a mess. Um, but also gives a little bit of a coating on the outside of the cherry so that uh, at this point it's been all saturated. So it's like an actual little out, outward lining, I guess, around the outside of it that's just like powdered right. sugar and cherry juice, which is pretty amazing. And then that helps it all stick to the sugar and like the, the chocolate and you get it all combined and you just mm. throw it down there. And all that sugar is going to turn into uh, liquid. Just like this. See all that liquid right there? That's what's going to happen inside the cherry after the chocolate covered. And then after the longer they sit, the the uh, more juicy they get. Nice. All right, so we got Steve doing the dark chocolate on this side. Yep, chocolate. Steve's dark. on the dark side. The dark side. <laughs> now How I many gotta... trays have you guys done so far? Right over there, you can take a look. Whoa. I went on lunch and Steve caught up with that stuff. I was going to say, wait a minute. Wait, so this is kind of like a, a race almost? Yeah. <laughs> it's not a competition, but it's totally a competition. <laughs> Just kidding. It's not a competition, but it is. But it's totally a competition. All right, we need to make up more of this. Should we just get another sheet of paper? Yeah. yeah. Sandra wants to know, did Scott already yeah. taste them? Me and Scott did try them. Tried yeah. them when uh, Steve made them the first go out. And uh, I mean, even I'm not a big fan of cherries, and I don't I don't think Cooper is as well. And honestly, they're still very good. Yeah, they're, if you, they're excellent. So it's definitely a, definitely something that if you guys have never tried, definitely worth the try. Where's Steve? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. It's got a fun texture to it because it's like juicy. Yeah. Very juicy, but the chocolate seals everything in. So it just so makes everything like. By the time you, you like bite into it, and Kelly, one of our uh, employees here, they're almost like Kelly the, bit into one one time without warning and she like got cherry juice all over herself and she was like, what? No one warned me. This thing's <laughs> going to go everywhere. It's like, yeah, you do kind of need a preface warning to the fact that cherry juice is going to yeah, yeah. go everywhere. But that's amazing. That's delicious. What is everyone's Halloween costumes? Cassidy has a good question. I like this one. <laughs> oh. It's so Steve. soon, and I really wish I had an answer yet. Yeah, I don't know. Kind of all over the place. I know uh, the girls out there are going to have costumes. Leo's all really? Right. Leo's all excited. She's been there talking about it. There you go, Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm thinking, let's see. I don't know, me and my girlfriend do something. Yeah. It's always yeah. easier when you got like a partner to do it with, because then you can... Here we put down lay down a layer of uh, sugar. There you go. And put uh, cherries on top of it and shake it up. Whoa. Yeah. Big stick. Yeah, you can 
dress up as whatever the opposite of a candy man is. <laughs> What's that? I don't know. I was gonna go as his annual costume Batman. I did see a quick comment about the quality of the video being down. If it's like that, it might just be on your end. You might have to X out of the X out of the live and just refresh the YouTube app. It should be coming. It should be coming in good. Refreshing. Let's get them all nice and coated. Oh, the opposite of the candy man is probably the dentist. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. We're done over here. There's like an alternate reality where Steve goes into work every day to like. <laughs> Isn't there a horror movie, The Dentist? <laughs> I mean, it's Halloween, right? That sounds like my normal every day. <laughs> Isn't there a, there's a horror movie called The Candyman, too? Yeah, it? yeah. The yeah. Candyman. All of it. They tried putting it on the Yeah, sometimes if you go to the top right, click the little gear icon thing, you can go and do uh, you know, the highest quality. Who doesn't love cherries? Really? Me. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's, that, that's right. You don't like cherries. No. Like, you don't like fruit, do you? I love fruit. I just don't like cherries. I think I like, I've, like, I, I don't know if there's another fruit that I don't like. I don't like the main one, you know? <laughs> I mean, melon isn't really great. <laughs> See? <laughs> Cantaloupe. I love apples. Oranges? Love oranges. Okay. Love okay. raspberries. Love strawberries. Just not cherries. Absolutely not cherries. Did they do something to you? Yeah. They exist. I don't know. Oh, that looks good. They just are, and you don't like them for that? Yeah. See, these got, you see how they're turning red? All that sugar is turning red, it's soaked up the juice from the cherry. It makes it easier to cover, because otherwise if you uh, have them just, they're still white with the sugar on there. The, for some reason the sugar makes the chocolate fall right off of the chocolate. So this is good when they're red. Yeah. Guess that I think cherries are too sweet. I like juicy and sour fruits. Yeah, yeah. So what's your view on watermelon? Then? I love watermelon. I feel like watermelon is just sweet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like watermelon. I like watermelon too. I love it. Watermelon in season when it's like crazy sweet. <laughs> but I like season watermelon. I don't really care. I, I'd, eat, I'd eat not seedless watermelon if it was what was available. Are you going to turn down like seeded watermelon? That's a funny face, so probably. Probably. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't... It, if I, like, crave watermelon, <laughs> yeah. No? I'm gonna yeah. be like, yeah, no, nah, I don't like the seeds. But... Just pick the seeds out, though. But, like, if I'm They're hungry and I, like, a fruit bowl and there's, like, seeds in the watermelon, I'll just eat Are it. Are you scared it's gonna grow in your, your stomach? No, I just don't like the random seeds. That's seed. true, you know. It is. Yeah. Imagine. Yeah. I was always told that when I was little. You eat the seeds, it's going to grow in your stomach. No! Someone, so Peter asked, what cherries do I not like? <laughs> All of them. All of the cherries. <laughs> like actual cherries or the maraschino, maraschino, maraschino cherries. They taste very different. We got I don't know maraschino the cherries. They're the ones like soaking in the juice over here. Like a What's real the one with the pit? You, like, that's like a normal cherry. Like I don't like those cherries either. where you like actually need to spit the pits out. When you yeah, I don't them. like that. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's a no for you, dog. That's a big no. <laughs> dog. No for me. It's <laughs> a no for you, dog. It's a no. <laughs> what flavor of bark is on the table? That is uh, milk potato chip bark. I didn't even know you guys could see it. That you got some, some very observant people. I know. The, 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 the 
be... Oh, you can see some of them are leaking already. Yeah, they start. Right away. Start. Right away. <laughs> yeah. You think that's, Taylor's that's, what, so, uh, that's why we cover them a second time. Huh. You think Taylor knows over how the costume is going to be yet? Maybe. Taylor is kind of a prepared person, so there's a chance she's got once something she, in mind. Once she comes into visual distance, I'm going to yell. Yell. Yeah. Miss Glia, she knows she knows what she wants to be. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I bet. Tara. Do you know what you're gonna be for Halloween yet? Um, I think me and my friend are gonna be the twins from The Shining. Ooh, okay. Well, did, sure? Does Leah know what she was gonna be? Uh. A dog. <laughs> I don't think it's a dog. No. No. Oh, a minion. She's being a minion. Oh, a minion. Oh. Uh, that's neat. Yeah. Huh. Well, when Taylor gets back, tell her to come out and see if she has a costume yet. Oh, no, she, she has one. She does? So mm -hmm. she know, or she knows what she's going to be, yeah. Oh, then we need to hear, we need to hear yeah. what Taylor's going to be. What about you? Um, I don't really have any yet. <gasps> you only have 19 days. Oh. I know, I know, I know. Well, oh. If anybody in the comments has... So the 29th, I'm talking about the 29th, though, not the 31st. <laughs> if anybody has any ideas for what I should be... Help me out, because I have no idea. <laughs> I like the idea. Leah wants to be a minion. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, that's good. I like it, too. Me and Steve get so close to holding hands when we reach in for the <laughs> yeah, so Hey, that's mine. Hey. Danny said you should be Steve. <laughs> Just be yourself. <laughs> no, he's saying I should be Steve. Oh, that'd be kind of funny. <laughs> What do I do? Just a white apron. Yeah. <laughs> um, hey, hey, Taylor. Hey. Do you know what you're going to be for Halloween? I do. Are you serious? You do? Yeah. Or? Okay, what? I'm going to be Morticia Adams, and Eli's going to be Gomez Adams. Oh, yeah. but do you have any ideas for me? Um, You could be our kid. The <laughs> <laughs> cousin, cousin it. <laughs> or you could be cousin it, yeah. Um. You could get a wig. What would... <laughs> so Steve's, they said that you should be Wonka. Willy Wonka? Wonka? Steve Wonka. Steve Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Taylor. Yeah? I gotta get a hat then. The top hat. Yeah. I have glasses that you can wear. If you're gonna be the Johnny Depp version. Yeah, the Johnny Depp. I like that one a lot. Yeah. I think that's kind of terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> Be the hand from the Adams family. <laughs> yeah, I'll just shrink down. Let me get a new paper out now. New All paper? Right. Yeah, I gotta get a new paper for the box now. It's just totally drenched. Do you want me to start on the double coverage? What'd you say? Do you want me to get popping on some double coverage? Oh, you want to do it now? I could. Okay. Ain't nothing stopping me. We can try it. Sure. All right, deal. So, if you guys have not seen our last video on the cherries, what we have to do with these is, if you see here, they leak like crazy, and they're very thin, right? They're still like very thinly covered, so they have to go in and cover them all again. One more time. On each one. It is. For the best, though. <laughs> it is for the best. These things are definitely kind of crazy. And then what? Do you just put them back on the same tray? Yeah, I'm just going to pick them up and put them right back where they were. Huh. Okay. That'll work. Try and save space, you know. If that doesn't work, you got trays behind you. I could do another tray, but I think it'll be just fine. How to my idea. Be an enrober and dispense candy. Oh, that's fun. Have like this a. should be a chocolate bar. Have a 20 foot cooling table kind of thing sticking off me. Just have people go through and pick candy off would be pretty fun. Um, he's actually doing it right now. So I said, how come Cooper isn't scraping his glove clean with the butter knife like Steve does? Honestly, it just like my hand is not. It's not like I'm 
yeah. and it, like I'm gonna put it back in there three seconds later. So Steve, so. Steve does it when he's going to do something different. Like right now, he he got all that extra chocolate off his hand because he was gonna change some things out. So also Cooper's realistically, really like a lot of it, you can do it. And I'll take like if I'm gonna do anything, it's basically just like the bottom half of my hand because that's like the stuff that ends up dripping. Yeah. And making. Huh. A little bit of like a mess, but for the most part, hmm. did you see that? Just shot juice out the bottom. Whoa. It made like a noise. <laughs> <laughs> it like I, I, I took anything. the suction up because it was like stuck to the air, and it like actually shot like cherry juice out. Huh. That's crazy. Keep up the great work, everyone. Thank you. Roger said that. Roger that. Roger that, Roger. So how many trays, Steve, how many trays did you get done when it was just by yourself? Uh, eight and a half. How many can you get done with Cooper? Well, that was eight and a half trays out of one whole jar. So... So we should get eight trays each at least today. Huh. All right. What do you think about that, Cooper? <laughs> I don't know. You know. He's like, I'm going to keep going. Yeah. We'll just see. keep working see where we get to. Yeah, it should be like that. Something like that. Close to that. Give or take. Diane said truffles are next, right? Oh, well. <laughs> um, yeah, we honestly, got... for Christmas, maybe, but we gotta just get everything else in order first. Yeah. That would be pretty cool for Christmas if we could get, get, get truffles out to you guys. Yeah. And we can see Steve adding more cherry. them set for a minute. We'll get more. Looks like little snowballs. Yeah. They remind me of I was this is in the video as well, but they remind me of like little jelly filled donuts. Yeah, don't they? Oh, they yeah. Do. yeah. Like the little jelly munchkins. Yeah. <laughs> and now they kinda look like what are they called? They're like Twinkies but they're not Twinkies. They have um, coconut on them. Oh the snowballs? No. Isn't that what they call them? <laughs> I'm thinking of something different. I don't like snowballs. Really? That's like mar that's like marshmallow on the outside. Oh. Hmm. Oh no. Sorry, dude. Well, Guys, help me. I don't know. <laughs> they have like white coconut or something. Yeah, they're like red and they have they look like a Twinkie, and they have coconut flakes on the outside of them. Hmm. Yeah, you never heard of them. Anybody in the comments? <laughs> knows what I'm talking about, please help me. <laughs> Back me up. Ring, ring dings? I don't know what that is. <laughs> They're not snowballs, I promise. Sure? Yes! <laughs> Zingers! Yes! Zingers! Sharon, help me. Sharon and... Oh, you guys are the Zingers. best. Zingers. Zingers, they're my favorite. Raspberry Zingers. Yeah, now the comments are helping me. Hear that, Steve? Yeah, they kind of look like the same. I don't know if I can find it. So somebody told me, I uh, saw a comment from the last time we did it, that they, they've they been making these uh, from the last video from years ago in the basement when I yeah. did it. And uh, now they uh, have to make them every year for their <laughs> family. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Happy to help. <laughs> Just send this video to your friends so now they can do it instead of you. <laughs> yeah. Like here, if you want them. Yeah. 
like that cap, Steve. Nice, huh? Yeah. Look at that. He's modeling. My new hat. Also available on. Cool. On our website? Yeah. yeah. Whoa. <laughs> he just didn't want to say it, I guess. <laughs> Cooper, he just. I guess he just. Uh, yeah, he was just going to let you fill that one in. He and really was. <laughs> he did not care. Like that one means I did not care. I do not care. <laughs> these are looking good. So the last time we had these on the YouTube channel was well, honestly our last video, but besides the point. When you second covered them, they still popped through. Yeah, some of them still do, but we don't want to cover them the third time because that would be, Fine. it's too, too thick. I mean, you're putting too much chocolate on there. So, uh, no, we'll just let them go. Sophie said taking a break from work to watch. Lee. Are you guys taking a break? Mm -hmm. They're working to let you watch. Yeah, there <laughs> you go. I'm working so that you have something to watch on your break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that funny how the world works? You're not watching someone else's. I think I am going to put these on the cherry bottle. Yeah, it's still on it. Yeah, because there's too much cherry juice on the top. It's a mess. Yeah, that's what I, I usually get a new tray. Oh, what are you doing now? But I figured I'd let you figure it out. I'm going to take Steve's seat. You getting a new tray? No. No? I'm taking your seat. Okay. Whoa. Put your I'll hand out. <laughs> I'll do, I'll, this is Steve's work area. If you guys were ever curious, this is what Steve sees all day. Just, that's it's, it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. POV from Steve. Okay, these are looking good. No, they're nice and red. Now I can cover them. So for people doing this at home, how long would you say to let them sit in this powdered uh, sugar? At least uh, close to probably five minutes. Okay. And then, then you can uh, go from there. Once they get kind of reddish like this, see how that's kind of red? Yeah. Like that. And then you can cover them easier. Cassie said we should make more ASMR videos. Let's see if it works right now. Are you ready? Yeah, I think it worked. Yeah. Yeah. ASMR, there you go. <laughs> you happy? <laughs> you guys go yatter. <laughs> Chocolate covered pizza next. Ooh, yum. <laughs> Don't yeah. Miss me with that. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of pizza though? Hmm. Hawaiian. Hawaiian. Oh, I've never actually the had worst type of pizza. I've never had pineapple on pizza. Craig loves it that way. You're doing a good job in life because it's not you. <laughs> I don't know. I've heard mixed, you know, mixed. That will start, that could start a war right there. <laughs> I know. Pineapple on pizza. Craig's the only person I know that likes it. I'm, I, I'll eat it, but I'm not really a big fan. It's just so, it doesn't, it doesn't feel right. <laughs> it just doesn't. Something about like the texture and the taste and everything of pineapple on. This is too much. Cassie said Hawaiian pizza is better if you dip it in hot sauce. That's um, so many layers of things. That's that so just, many yeah. different things going on like, that I can't do that. <laughs> Chocolate covered burgers. <laughs> I don't know. You guys can try all this stuff at home. Let us know how it is. Yeah. If it comes out good, maybe we'll try it. Take a video of it too while you're doing it. Yeah, do give us a taste test. Yeah, why is it always gotta be us? Right. <laughs> why are we always taste some stuff? You guys taste it and then send it to us. Pepperoni 
bacon and pineapple with my favorite pizza. <laughs> Interesting. Bacon. What are you guys watching on TV? <laughs> that is Malcolm in the Middle. Malcolm in the Middle. Life is unfair. <laughs> You cover nicely second, I would say. The first bit is a little rough. Yeah. Yeah, it's better with a new paper, huh? Yeah, it's always better. You need a bigger table. A little bit sometimes. Says I do it to numb the taste of the pineapple. Uh, so it then just don't put the pineapple on <laughs> it. it. Makes it <laughs> no, it makes it... Makes it easy. <laughs> People... <laughs> People think you're corky for eating the Hawaiian pizza. <laughs> That's interesting. So funny. Cut back on the, the, the pineapple. Huh? Cut back on the pineapple. Yeah. Or just none. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever tried pineapple on pizza, Steve? Oh, yeah, a couple times. Because, like I said, Craig likes it. Yeah, so, but... I'm not a big fan of it. Like I said, I'll, I'll eat it, though, because I'll eat anything. <laughs> Taylor? Taylor? Yeah. Do you have pineapple on pizza? Do I like pineapple on pizza? Yeah. Not really. Okay, how about you? Yes. Really? Yeah. Come on, now. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm also thumbs down. It's okay. <laughs> are, we I, a, are we at number? Um, no, I think Cooper doesn't, and Steve doesn't, but will. I'll eat anything is basically what he said. That's saying. literally what he said, actually. <laughs> he goes, but I'll eat anything. <laughs> whatever, whatever theory we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> More pineapple for me. Yeah, it could be all yours. Whoever you actually take every single bit of it. Whoever said that, it's all yours. Take it. <laughs> you are welcome. All right, and then over here. Trying to like try. clean them up a little bit before I get them back in. You know, all, the, all those leak in there. That's, that's why you cover them again. Hopefully, they won't fully leak a little bit. Cassie wants to know if you would eat sardines. Ew. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I oh, never gotten up that too. <laughs> that would be the first thing to stop him, and then I also think that even if he wasn't, he would probably still not. <laughs> no have sardines. No nope. choice. No yeah, way. Have ever liked the sardines or the Caesar salad? Oh, dude. Right. Look it up. It's the <laughs> I just would never. I'm not even gonna argue. If I hear the word sardines, I'm automatically out. Like, Dude, it's like they put a little bit in, and they're just salty, so it like gives you a little bit of salt in the salad. It's like not bad. You don't even taste them. Is it fishy tasting? No, it just tastes like salt. They're so salty, it's ridiculous. Oh, what, what's that other thing I used to put on pizza? The, oh, no. Uh, the fish. What? Uh, they're really salty. I think you're talking about sardines. No. Ancho... Anchovies? Anchovies? Yeah. No. Anchovies and sardines are like the same thing. Oh, okay. Well, you know, all fish that oh, well, yeah. Just it's like, uh, yeah, everyone's saying anchovies. Yeah. Uh, what is it? They're like in line or whatever, so they're like, it's just like it's, a salt bag. Oh, they're so salty. Yeah, oh. they did. Like, I did said, try sardines them. aren't salty, it's anchovies. Yeah, yeah I tried them. But I've never tried either, so I can't say anything. I'm, 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 not, no I'm not a fan. And anchovies are what they use to put on pizza all the time. Sardine, sardines is like tuna. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't like tuna. Yeah, I don't <laughs> you don't like tuna. Like... <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> You're not picky, are you? No one <laughs> is. What about olives? No. Oh, yeah, I love olives. I like hey, olives. olives. Oh, yeah. What about you, Terry? Olives? Yes. Uh, I like Greek olives, tuna? too. No. Little spinach uh, yes, on my pizza. Oh, okay, I guess. Like, whatever. 
Caesar dressing is made with anchovies. Yeah. No anchovies. Yeah, Caesar dressing has anchovies in it. And I did not and know eggs. that. Like That's eggs, I think. disgusting. I love Caesar dressing though. No, you don't. <laughs> not anymore. No, you don't. I don't think it's a heavy fish taste. It's just like a little tiny bit. Salty. Sardines yeah. are small fish. Anchovies are salty bone. Is that true? It's the yeah, they're kind of like sardines. I remember once I worked in an Italian restaurant and there was a mistake on a pizza. And you know, whenever there's mistakes, they let us eat them. And you know, I grabbed a piece and it had anchovies on it. I didn't know. I was like, ah! <laughs> my mouth. <laughs> Yeah, it was not good. <laughs> it was not good. <laughs> like chocolate covered anchovies, don't even suggest it. <laughs> uh, there has been some suggestions. So Steve, are you powdering cherries for the both of you? Well, no, he's, uh, uh, Cooper's covering the second coating over gotcha. here. Gotcha. So you got the first jar. So you guys have a little system, huh? This is the second jar. Okay. We're seeing the process, both processes at once. And I ordered more cherries, more maraschino cherries, because those could be hard to come by. I oh, ordered really? some, yeah, I ordered some, um, it was probably at least a month ago, and they were on their way, and then it said they could not be delivered, and apparently they got, they must have broken open, they must have just been mm. destroyed, because they said it was not deliverable. So it wasn't huh. a problem with our address, it was a problem with the package. Somebody with the forklift must have. Well, I don't know. <laughs> those are, are those glass or plastic? Uh, plastic. Okay, but even still, if you drop them wrong, oops, a daisy, they're gonna pop open and make a big, oh yeah, big red mess, yeah, big red sticky mess, yeah. But enough definitely. about me. Hi, mom. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> How was your vacation? What vacation? Sandra wants to know. The one that oh, happened the, a while the ago. Niagara Falls. That yeah. Craig just posted about. It was very nice. Yeah. It was really just one day. Because we're just kind of <laughs> getting our toes wet doing this, dipping our foot in the water. But it was fun to, to leave it all behind, leave it in Kara's capable hands. And yeah. uh, and I See didn't worry when I was gone. Good. I knew she could handle it. Yeah. You guys both had fun, Steve? Oh, yeah. That you was great. Now, there's evidence of Steve having fun. <laughs> there was fist bumping. Oh. Oh, yeah. It wow. was great. Played fool's bump. You made new friends? Played fool's bump and had IPAs. What's that to like? I know. And he made a new friend whose name he doesn't know. <laughs> That's the best type of friends. <laughs> they can't ask you for anything. Yeah. I'm sure he doesn't have your number to ask you for something. And I mean, he's not going to ask for anything. Unless no. <laughs> Roger with the super chat. Love you guys, Steve. What is the oldest piece of equipment in the shop? I'm guessing the kettles or the starch press. Uh. I'd say the kettles and the starch press are about the same. And candy cutters. Same time, yeah. And the, the candy, candy cutter. The choppers. The, the heater, the candy heater over there. They're all about. This thing right here? All about the thing. I, what, what, was gas pipe to the houses at that point? Because I know your parents used coal to start with. I don't know. Yeah, they, I don't know how they did it. How they do hard candy? Yeah. With coal. Wow. Because they cooked good. their candy over coal, but I don't see how they could have done the hard that candy. Maybe you didn't make it yet. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. very possible. There's nobody for us to ask. Yeah. What chocolate do you recommend for home candy making? Well, you use whatever you want, really. But <laughs> so what do you recommend? Yeah, what do you recommend? I'd recommend uh, our chocolate if you want to have good chocolate. Yeah, it's, I would also recommend this chocolate. Well, it's up to yeah. you. I mean, what this is depends on how, what, uh, if you can't... Peter's, um, Calibo is also good. Hmm. I mean, it depends on what you can get. You want yeah. to get something... If, Hopefully you can get it in the block form. That's usually going to be the, the real thing as opposed to the little discs are usually compound. Right. If, the, if it says it has palm kernel in it, it's not actually chocolate. Right. It depends on if you're trying to make it easy because the palm kernel stuff doesn't taste as good, but it's easier to work with. Yeah. It depends on what your goals are. If, if you want to try doing tempering the, the real way, then um, I would go with Peter's or uh, hmm. Calibo. Also, somebody wants to know, do you cover graham crackers uh, with chocolate? I know that we've mentioned this before. You could probably do it at home and it'd be okay if you yeah. eat it relatively quick. Yes. But with us, it'll get, what, soggy the, uh, or it stale? Gets, the, the graham cracker gets really soft. It, it kind of pulls the fat from the chocolate. Hmm. And it makes the graham cracker soft and not crisp anymore. But if you made it and ate it right away, it'd be fine. Right. Yeah. So I, I think the ones that they The ones we've made before, the next, very next day, and then they were 
already stopped. Yeah, they already they're stopped. Awesome. But if you eat them the same day you make them, I'm sure yeah. they're good. And then we got another super chat from Brandon. Thank you so much. You, Been watching you since the first location of the shop, and I appreciate you guys a lot. Thanks. We appreciate you, Brandon. Thank you. We for all it. appreciate you. Thank you again. Let's see. What about chocolate covered watermelon or oranges? Well, you can't really chocolate cover something that's wet. Oh, okay. So watermelon tends to be watery. Right. Same with oranges. They, I mean, like even if you do chocolate covered strawberries, that you have to make them. They have to be completely dry because the chocolate just won't stick to something wet. Right. Which I found oh. out when I was chocolate covering apples for Steve huh. for our uh, little uh, guessing video. Hmm. Have we ever done candy apples? No, we have not. Okay. We tend to shy away from perishable things. Right. Because it's something you got to sell it pretty quickly. Yeah, that and oh, strawberries, okay. they don't, yeah, if you don't sell them within a couple of days, then. Strawberries are really the same day because yes. if you if you make them and you put them in the refrigerator, they start collecting water in the bottom of the package within 12 hours. So that's a same mm. day thing. So that's why we don't dabble I do that. know this one is a no. Fudge is a no. Yeah, that's a shelf life thing. Chocolate covered sugar, sugar cookies, no. Yeah. A lot of these are no. <laughs> <laughs> Coconut, coconut bonbons? Oh. Don't really know what a bonbon is. So it's probably a no. I think that's the same thing as our, our coconut cream and It's not. It's corn something like that might have like a cake crust on the bottom or like a cookie crust. Then it's not it's the same. I mean, people might call a cream a bonbon, but a bonbon is a specific type of chocolate. Right. And I can't remember what it is. Another one of the challenges chocolate covering stuff. We won't, we won't want more of that video. Oh, the chocolate yeah. challenges of yes. weird, weird stuff? Yeah. <laughs> we, we want to let it rest for a while yeah. so we can come up with new stuff. Yeah, know? definitely let us know what your ideas are. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do? We'll do it again sometime, but just not real soon. Hmm. Guys will get sick of it if we're doing it all the time. I never knew Fudge had such a short shelf life. Yeah, it's really only a couple of days a week at the most. I mean, you can probably freeze it. Just like uh, truffles, they only last so many months. Well, they truffles, you put the um, you put the inhibitor in there, and then yeah. they last they, they right. last almost so, three months. But fudge just gets stale very yeah. quickly. Chocolate covered chicken wings. I don't. <laughs> Again, the moist thing. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, you can't cover moist things. No. You've ruined your whole chocolate puddle. <laughs> chocolate covered ghost pepper hard candy. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh. One thing I do want to try sometime is just adding a little bit of uh, maybe uh, our hot chili powder to chocolate. Ooh. Because people, that, that was a trend about 15 years ago, and we tried it with chocolate cayenne pepper. We weren't too impressed with it, but we could try it with um, chili. Right. Like, uh, I, I have some over there. Not, not chili powder. I'll be back. I'm okay, going to go deal. see what I have over there. Okay, deal. Not jalapeno powder. Someone also said white chocolate nutter butter ghosts. Oh, yeah, that'd be cute. Huh. That'd be cute. But, I mean, Halloween's almost coming. We, we tend not to do stuff late. where yeah. we're trying it out and it's seasonal and it has to be sold immediately. Right. Because then you just get stuck with it. And we're yeah. not about that life. Yeah, that's true. I didn't think about that. Christian and Steve covering the cherries in the dark. Cooper recovering in the dark. No, those are milk. He is, yeah, he's recovering in the milk. So pretty much, these are two two separate operations right now. So Steve's just doing first and second step of the dark, and Cooper is doing first and second step of the milk. Yes. Sorry, that was a mouthful. Okay. It was. So I'm thinking at some point when I'm not doing anything, chipotle, chili, and chocolate. Whoa. Yeah. Just to see what that's all about. I think we would just do cups, just chocolate, right. chili cups, and see how yeah. that works out. Chili. What yeah. about... It'd be good chocolate with chips covered too. cherries and white chocolate. Why do we not do that? Um, because you're gonna turn your whole puddle pink with the cherry juice. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, because it does That's sound kind of good. And I do have a customer here that would be super into it, but you probably would be tainting your whole puddle. And, and it was hard enough to get to this to get into the milk in the dark. Why we don't do berries, or we, can we do other berries too, like strawberries, blueberries? Perishables, we just stay away from because those are things that have a, the shelf life is hours, not right, days. I mean, right. 
we have to, that's something you'd have to sell immediately. And if we can't do that, well, right. we've just wasted our time and our money. And we're not that's about true. that life either. That's true. Because when you do uh, berries, you have to wash them and hand dry them. Make sure they're really so what dry. Makes, what no is the difference water. between, like, if we did, like, a blueberry compared to if we did these cherries? Like, well, we're rolling these in uh, sugar, so it covers up the juice. Yeah, so what if we did the same thing with, like, uh, a different fruit? Oh, fruit, yeah, roll it in sugar and... Well, yeah. Fruit would have to be still, wet to begin with, though. Yeah, that would because be... Because th these cherries are in juice, so they're already wet. Right. So... So, like, what if we got, like, pineapples in, like, the cans? They're already wet, you toss them in there, and do they stay as... I don't... I, I don't cher know. Maraschino cherries will last forever. You'd have to... Oh, okay. Pineapples, not so much. Okay. So... You'd have to experiment with it. Yeah. You guys experiment at home and tell us. Yeah. If Let's you guys send us videos, we are <laughs> we want to do reaction videos to your videos. Yeah. That would be That's, fun. I would love to be able to do that, yeah. but they need to start sending us videos first. You, that, that's like that's step the, number one. That is literally yeah. the first step, yeah. <laughs> you so, can't react to what you don't have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys are interested in doing any of your chocolate experiments, yeah, send it to us. So, Maybe Cooper will react to it, right? Help them out, you know, if they need some help, we sure. can help them out. I'm about it. I like to help people. So, when you... Yes? Scott? Hi, Scott. Hi. When you said that cherries last forever, do they actually last forever, or...? No, they do have an expiration date, um, okay. but it's pretty long. Okay, they're, months they're, or like years? Probably at least a year. Well, let's see. I just got these in. A new bag. April 28th, 2023. So we've got about six months. Okay. All which right. is our shelf life on chocolate covered cherries anyways. Oh, six months. Yes. Oh, okay. Which, I mean, generally, that's how we come up with a shelf life. Somebody has asked us to address how do we come up with our shelf life. Right. And basically, here's, here's the, um, the parameters. Creams, nine months, just from trial and error. Right. Um, chocolate, it says it on the package, is usually plain chocolate one year. Nuts, generally about nine months. Okay. And then um, things with add-ins, like cookies or chips, we just go by the expiration date on the package of the thing we're adding in, whichever, mm. whatever that expiration date is, is the expiration date we adopt. And then also somebody is asking, how about chocolate covered dried fruits? Is that fine to do like? Well, that, that works, like we've done raisins. Okay. And we have um, the ruby bars that have dried cherries in them. Okay. Um, and then we do one that's got dried, it's, a, it's called a fruit nut bar. It's got dried cranberries, dried raisins, hazelnuts, and almonds, I believe. Huh. Okay. And then people are there's a few there's a few factions pushing for um, some type of a dried cranberry and chocolate, which we probably will do. That's on my to do list. Whether we make it a cluster, because it's not going to be individual. I promise you that. Yeah. So it'd probably be like some sort of a cranberry Plus, cluster, yeah. but yeah. Yeah. We haven't said no to that. Oh, okay. Because we ha we do have the the ruby chocolate with. Oh, I know. We did it with dried cranberries, but we just settled on doing it with the dried cherries. Mm. Instead, of, instead of doing both, the cherry was the better seller, so that's what we went with. Yeah. All right. Sounds like fun. Okay, There's I'm more go, shaking I'm going go on. Corporate things. If okay, anybody's looking fun. for me, I will fun. be banging away at my keyboard. Putting the cherries back. Yes. We back where they those. belong. Yeah. I don't need any trouble. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye, Terry. Has Terry ever dyed her hair? No. <laughs> nope. Nope. Supposedly no, guys. I don't know. <laughs> did you ask if I ever dyed my hair? Yeah. Yeah, I did for a while, but then during the pandemic, I went, why? She said no. She <laughs> 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 said no. No, I did, I did for a while, but I just don't care. <laughs> during the pandemic, I just didn't bother anymore. I think a lot of people did that. They went gray. And it's just like, <laughs> it's, so it's been about over two years. Um, another super chat from Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Are Thanks. these the same as cherry cord cordials? Cordials. 
cordials? Yeah, people call them chocolate covered cherries or cherry okay. cordials. Um, although some folks might make a cherry cordial with brandy, because a cordial is generally something you would associate with alcohol. Right. So that might kind of depend on what your version is, but basically there's a cherry in the center and some juice. Right. That the sugar drew out. Huh. So, yeah. So it's kind of the same. Sort of. Depends on your definition of cherry cordial. Okay, so just no alcohol. No alcohol. All right. Okay, I am going. I mean it. Okay. I mean it this time. Okay. I just had to see, see how Steve answered that question. That was a yeah. good one. <laughs> no, she's never dyed her hair. Steve, have you ever dyed your hair? Yeah, I made it white. <laughs> I knew that. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Cooper, have you ever dyed your hair? Yes. See? Yeah, I dyed it for the last Halloween. She made my hair green. <laughs> yeah, tie dyed. Tie dyed hair. That'd be sick. Okay, so I have to get back to work. Oh. Thanks for the stream. Thanks. When will we be streaming again? Uh, next week. I don't know why I pointed to you like I. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, no, we will be. We will do another live stream this week. Oh, this week. Yeah, this week. Oh. Um, I think it is going to be. What did happen to you Wednesday? Wednesday is. <laughs> I think today. Yep. Wednesday. I think we're doing another live stream Wednesday. Is that uh, hard candy? Yes. <laughs> Maybe. We don't know yet. <laughs> oh, is I not supposed to say? <laughs> <laughs> um, we don't know what we're doing Wednesday. Or, or ribbon, or, or or cherries again, or or, or peanut butter cups, clusters, or. <laughs> <laughs> We don't know what it is, Steve. Wow. <laughs> Chocolate covered honeycomb is a big seller in Ireland. Oh, honeycomb, huh? That sounds amazing. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing at? Steve likes to make fun of me. No. Yes. No. Lori said, I want to eat the chocolate puddle. I think you would probably get sick. Everybody wants it. It looks good. You don't think so? Steve, do you think you could eat that whole chocolate puddle right there? And not get sick? <laughs> no, not the whole thing, no. <laughs> it's at, too at, your, at your best, though, like in your prime, maybe like very young, maybe you get sick. Well, well, yeah, when you're young and dumb, you do stuff like that. <laughs> we got another super chat from Brandon. Is Steve still quick? Yeah, hasn't lost it. <laughs> Steve, what would hasn't you lost it. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> yeah, if you guys go back... If you guys go back to the beginning of this video, you can see Steve May lost it. <laughs> so funny. I forgot what I was going to say. I forgot what I was Too much pressure. I only gave him a countdown before I started. I said, Steve, you ready? He goes, yep. And then I go, all right, Steve, three, two, and then I click it, and then he still goes, oh. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I would do the same thing. Okay, I'm ready. You ready? Well, this should be a little more. Little. This is what happens when you do them when they're not. Oh, see that? Do it again. You can chunk it up. Well, oh. It won't stick to the chocolate. It'll probably roll right off, and yeah, it doesn't. Uh, the sugar won't make the chocolate stick. Once they get more red looking, then... Yeah, then I was going to say, these look more 
yeah. just covered right now than they did earlier. Yeah, I'll just let them sit for a few minutes. Yeah. Hmm. Well, otherwise, it's too. You're just staring at them. You think frustrating. they're going to change? <laughs> they change quicker. Yeah. <laughs> did you Did you know that if you stare at them, they will change? It's quicker. like watching water boil. It's yeah. the same concept. Or paint dry. Yep. All entertaining. Oh yeah, it's riveting content. <laughs> <laughs> Get the live stream on it. Everybody wants to watch. Buddy. Let's paint the walls a different color and then just set up a live stream. That's uh, sick. It drying. <laughs> Love it. At least like grass, you can root for it to get like taller. The paint drying, it's like you can't even really see it drying. Yeah, you can. Over you can see like dark spots and like wet spots, like the wet spots and the dry spots. If you spots. have like, like over really time. good lighting. <laughs> but I'm sad. I'm gonna put my hand on many wet things, fully unaware that it was like wet paint still. So yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Like I. <laughs> That's true. Like I'll be painting and I'm like that definitely dry and I like go and start working on that area again and I smear all of it <laughs> I got a comment um, says, Scott go back and see what the girls are doing back there they're having way too much fun in the back. Yeah, you can hear them yeah, you can hear them laughing yeah. and everything <laughs> yeah let's go see what, he, what they're up to hey can I come back here yeah the everyone in the comments is saying you, that I need to come back here because it sounds like you're having too much fun Oh. What's the yeah. joke? What's the um, jokes? I want to know. Town stories. <laughs> We're just yeah. about our weekend. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I had a really fun yeah. week last week. So. Nice. Sure did. Yeah. Vacation time. I was on vacation. Yeah. Woo. 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 It was really Party. Funny. <laughs> really good stuff. What about your weekend, Kara? Uh, I worked on Saturday and then I hung out with my friends. Oh, nice. Nothing really. <laughs> well, I it. guess you're wondering how that could be funny. You yeah. had to be there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about you, Karen? I'm doing cold packs. You're doing Jumbos. cold packs? Jumbos. At first I thought I said, okay. Jumbo. Jumbo. It looks like an O at first. Jumbo. You having fun doing the cold packs? Oh, you... a blast. Yeah. Do you want to say hi to everybody? Yep. Hi. Hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Well, it's Karen being Karen. So this is, this is the shipping room, huh? <laughs> yep. I think I just laughed for no reason. I made, you think <laughs> I made you think something funny was happening, but I'm just over here laughing at myself. <laughs> <laughs> so um, would just be rapping, you know, by herself, and yeah, all of a sudden, Yeah, I'm just giggling laugh. over here. Just laugh. No big deal. No big deal. <laughs> Yeah, we've been shipping all day, actually. We've really? Got a lot. We've got a lot today. What time yeah, have, What time did you guys start? I, mean, I got in at yeah. 9, and I it's 1. Wow. So you guys do the math. Okay, yeah. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> not, yeah. not you. I'm telling them okay, to. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Look, don't put me on the spot. <laughs> Karen, you uh, have to wrap more jumbo no, packs? No, I'm done for a while until they call me. Mm -hmm. Who was they? Us. These two. Oh. Yeah. We're going to beat her guys... on her pager? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought you said She's beat her. Like Kim <laughs> yeah. Karen Possible. <laughs> Karen Possible. <laughs> do you know Kim Possible? Yeah. You do? No. The cartoon when we were kids? No. no got... I wasn't a kid. When we were kids? Yeah, when yeah. you were kids? <laughs> when we... I wasn't um, a kid. Impossible. I wasn't a kid. <laughs> you were... You're a kid at heart, Karen. Yeah. No, yeah. we don't actually. Tim wants to know pager question mark. No. Oh, that's just a joke. <laughs> <laughs> just saying we, we pager. <laughs> this place just isn't that stuff big. Up. Yeah, this place isn't that big. We can. Uh, <laughs> we're we in the nineties still. Okay, <laughs> yeah. we're gonna go see some cherries again. All right. Have fun. Have fun. Okay. Bye. Bye. Turns out they're uh, not having fun. Huh? Turns out they're not having fun. They're not. Taylor just said she laughs at everything. Wow, so everything that she's laughed at, okay. I, I think I'm laughing at everything. <laughs> so you're starting a new tray, and you're starting a new tray. I'm going back. 
I switched. Kimberly said, can I ask a question? I yes, you can ask can, a question. Kimberly. What are all ears? If there is any other questions, we'll give everybody, <laughs> maybe we'll do like a good, just five, the last five minutes of Q&A. So random rapid fire questions for both of them. Okay. Okay. All right. What's your favorite color? Okay, here we go. Wait a minute. Let's start at the top. What did you What's your favorite color? How many children do you have? Zero. Zero, Cooper? I mean, Steve? Three. Put you all Three. my sons. <laughs> Let's see. Um, what is each staff member's favorite candy? That's a hard question. You gotta go around. I don't even know. I like um, every candy here. Mine is Charleston Chew. So honestly, crazy for going out of pocket with that. Not even in the store. Yeah. Yeah, we don't make no Charleston Chews. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's so, not. That's not my. Yeah, fault. get out. Maybe you should <laughs> film for Charleston Chew then. What would you give someone wanting to learn how to make candy at home? Okay. What advice would you give? Um, watch our YouTube channel. Yeah, have fun with it. Yeah. Don't take it too serious. And uh, just try and like follow the instructions. Because for the most part, there's instructions out there that you can follow. What is the hardest candy you've ever made? Maybe um, not even working here. Maybe you had to do it at home or something. The ribbon candy that's Bill. That's the hardest one. Yeah, I'd okay. say probably Bill okay. ribbon is the hardest. Um... What is the meaning of life? 42. Cool. <laughs> Perfect. Yep. Steve, who's your favorite employee? Oh, <laughs> Whoa. You thought you could get that quick, too, and actually just have him, like, shout an answer out? That would have been crazy. Um, let's see. Have you... Uh, you are. Me? Uh, and, uh, and Cooper. Sure, you're just trying to suck up. You only have one. <laughs> He said me first, sorry, Coop. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just be out there. He can finish these by himself. <laughs> Let's see. Why can't you use the enrober for the second coating? So, as you can see, even through the second coating, there's still dripping cherry juice all over the place. I don't want to contaminate our big old vat of chocolate back there with cherry juice. Yeah. Huh. It kind of just is what it is. It's too much. It would be too how, messy. How do you like making the chocolate-covered cherries? Um, tedious. Tedious. That's a good answer. But, uh, I guess like a challenge, so kind of fun and a little different. Yeah, I like that. Kind of have a good outlook on it. What is your most popular candy? Uh, um, chocolate covered chips. Yeah, chocolate covered chips and assorted chocolate. Assorted chocolate. It's like our creams and stuff. Do you guys crave chocolate or the candy that you guys make while making them? Um, no. 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 Oversaturation. Yeah. I have so much exposure to this stuff that, like, I really. This question, I, I, I think we have answered before, but I, I, I forgot. So, what is your dream car, both of you? Dream car? Dream car. BMW M3. Nice. Steve? Um, a 64 Chevy Chevelle or a 67. Nice. All right. Where would you go on vacation right now? <laughs> if I could go literally anywhere. Anywhere in the world, yeah. Um, top two on my bucket list are Amsterdam and Australia. Nice. So one or the other. I'd be very happy with either. Mine's <laughs> Tokyo and... Tokyo's up there, too. Yeah, That's Tokyo cool. and uh, um, Malta. Steve? <laughs> I don't really know. I haven't had a chance to ever think about that. Okay, well, you can get back to us on it. That's fine. Because we've got a lot of questions. What is Steve's favorite candy to make? I think you answered that one already. Didn't you? What was it? What was your know. favorite candy to make? I mean, maybe you didn't answer it already because you no. can't remember. So. It's kind of fun to make brittle. Brittle. Okay, yeah, all right. For Cooper. 
How do you like making the chocolate covered cherries? You already answered that, sorry. Tedious. Tedious, yes. <laughs> Let's see. See what kind of a craftsman you are. Do you guys still like candy after making it all day? Every sure. day? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Just candy. Come on now. Any new Christmas candy this year? Ooh. I mean, we got maybe a little bit of extra time that we didn't know we were going to have so we can maybe keep up with some of the stuff that we don't normally have during the holidays. Yeah, Just maybe. Kidding. So we maybe. Got, uh, we tried this summer uh, maple walnut brittle. Yeah. So that's new for Christmas. And that is the only. That tastes yeah. like a pancake. Yeah. Mm. That's really good. Yeah. Pancake. What do you guys like the most, making hard candy or the chocolate? I mm. like. I would say I prefer hard candy, but it's nice to not have to do it every day because those days are really tiring. So yeah. to be able to like have Relax. one day, a couple of days maybe, like two yeah. in a row where you do hard candy, and then like the next day you get to kind of sit and do nut cups or chocolate yeah. or cherry, something like that. So it's like I like the, the balance of the two. Yeah. Because some days are really hard, and some days are easy. Does Steve have a favorite movie? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, That's like a hard one, but he definitely has one. I honestly, the Mighty Python, The Holy Grail. <laughs> nice. I honestly thought Cooper was their son. <laughs> oh. Um. Everyone's astrological sign. Scorpio and Libra. I'm an Aries. Where are you? Aries. You're an Aries? Yeah. When's your birthday? Are you a March? April 11th. Oh, you're an April Aries? Yeah. They're totally different than March, I guess. So I've been told, but I have no idea which I don't know. Yeah, Craig and Kara, March 31st, and they're Aries. Yeah, we have three Aries here. Whoa. Is that going to be a problem? Kind of. Oh. Kind of? Yeah. <laughs> when are we going to have to deal with that? Let's see. Okay, I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom. Any new questions? I'm going to take one last final question for either one of them. So we'll wait for one more question. I got a question. Okay. What kind of candy does everybody like to watch? That's a good one. It's a good one. We'll ask them. Steve, can can Steve speak Greek? No. <laughs> I learned it when I was little from my grandmother, and then uh, after she died, I never spoke it again, so I forgot. Really? Yeah. Darn. Okay, I'm getting a lot of chocolate, um, bark. Chocolate and bark. Chocolate and bark. Hmm. You guys like to see the bark. Ribbon. Candy. Bark again. Bark, bark. Brittle making. Part where it bubbles up. Dark chocolate caramels. Ribbon candy. Peanut brittle. Chocolate Steve bark. Really peanut brittle. Yeah, so we are getting a lot of comments asking, Greg is just, he is not working Mondays, so he is off on Monday. He is okay, everything is fine. <laughs> okay, so a lot of people, It's I think it's a lot of, it's all mixed. Yeah, a mixture, huh? How can you read all those comments so fast? Honestly, I'm guessing, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, they just scroll up, I can see them pretty quick but they are they do go pretty quick we did everybody that sounds like a lot bark ribbon candy and brittle huh would you ever make maple walnut bark bacon bark whoa i don't know yeah we, we don't do the bacon no nothing like that no nope. we'd have to we'd have to get inspected differently like yeah. having food like that Get okay, Cooper on the grill. Get him on the grill. On the grill. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that was fun. I think this is a good live, right? Yeah, that was good. Okay. So how many trays total do we have so far? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, pretty much ten because he has half and half here. 
So you're at 10 trays already. Oh, good. I'll start going covering them the second time now. Nice. Yeah, I'll finish off the rest of these and then they'll cover the rest that I have. Tell to Steve the walnuts, the walnuts are coming. That walnut brittle, that's probably... I really like that. I like <laughs> brittle. Uh, yeah. I like the pecan brittle, too. That's so awesome. I and like then, filming brittle because... You know, it's just, you're in and out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It just, it's, it starts it's, and it's pretty it's, much over. It's all action for five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Action. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys so much for joining. I'm going to let these two get back to their job and watch their TV again before yeah. I rudely interrupted them. Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe. Yes. Uh, subscribe. subscribe. Please. And we will see you live on Wednesday. What? Wednesday. But no promises, so don't quote me. Maybe Thursday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you guys so much. And you guys have a great day. Peace out. Bye. You too. Bye. Bye.